Hi everybody, Dr. Mike here. In this video, we're gonna take a look at kidney filtration, also known as glomerular filtration. So I've drawn up a strange looking diagram on the board. Let me briefly explain it. We've got the heart, and we know that coming out of the left side of the heart, specifically the left ventricle, we've got the aorta, and the aorta is gonna have multiple branches. Now, once we're in the abdomen, one of its branches is that of the renal artery going to the kidneys. So what I've isolated here is one of the very small branches of the renal artery that we call an afferent arteriole. Now, the afferent arteriole, what do you know about that? The afferent arteriole is a very small artery that's going to the nephron. Remember, each kidney has one millinephrons and this is the filtration unit of the kidneys. This is what deals with the components of the blood. There's an afferent arteriole on one end, then we've got a glomerulus here. This is where the things get exchanged. Glomerulus is Latin for ball of yarn. And then on the other end, we have the efferent arteriole. And what you can see is the efferent arteriole then wraps itself around the tubules of the nephron. And these are called peritubular capillaries. Peri tubular capillaries and what's happening is here at the glomerulus, afferent arterial glomerulus, things are being pushed out of the blood into this capsule called the renal capsule. All right, what's being pushed out is everything small enough. So no cells, no proteins, but everything else basically is being pushed into this renal capsule and moving through the tubules of the nephron. No oxygen is being all, no gas exchange is happening at this area. However, once the efferent arteriole snakes itself around the tubules and now is the peritubular capillaries, this is where gas exchange can happen to the cells of the tubules. It's also the place where things get thrown back into the blood, all right? Now, a take home message is this, whatever remains in the capsule and the tubules turn into urine, okay? So let's now have a quick look. Coming from the heart, Every minute, you know that the cardiac output, so the amount of blood a heart pumps out per minute, the cardiac output is five liters. Now, of that five liters, 20% is going to the kidneys. So 20% is going to the kidneys, and that's one liter. Now, of that one liter, which is a thousand mils, what you're gonna find is that around about 400 mils of that 1,000 mils are things that are too big to be pushed across that glomerulus. So these are gonna be cells, proteins, for example, okay? Now, the rest, the 600 mils, is gonna be plasma. So this is stuff that can be pushed through, right? Now of this 600 mils, every minute, remember, every minute of this 600 mils getting to the glomerulus, the question is how much of this 600 mils is being pushed through into the capsule? And the answer is 20%. So what's 20% of 600? It's 120 mils. So 120 mils per minute. So every minute, 120 milliliters of fluid within the blood is being filtered into this renal capsule. Now that's a minute. Let's think about how much is being filtered. So this is the filtration process, right? There's little holes here that filter what we need to get through. If it's too big, it doesn't, or if it has a particular charge, it won't. Let's calculate how much is getting filtered per day, right? So if that's per minute, if we've got 60 minutes in an hour times 24 hours in a day, that gives us 1,440 minutes. If we multiply 1,440 minutes by 120, then that will give us around about 172,800 milliliters. So every day we filter into our nephrons, 172,800 mils. That is 100, let's just round it up to 173 liters per day we filter. Now think about that. That means 173 liters is going into this capsule and moving through these tubules. Now think about that. If it remains in the tubules, do we pee out 173 liters of urine every day? No, of course we don't. We pee out 10% of this. We pee out 
1.7, give or take a little bit, 1.7 liters per day, which means 90%, actually 99%, we only pay out 1% of that, not 10%, 1%. That means of that, 99% of everything that gets filtered gets thrown back into the blood. And you can see of this efferent arterial, the peritubular capillaries that wrap all the way around it, this is where it gets thrown back. So some stuff that's here is gonna get thrown back into the capillaries. Here, some is gonna get thrown back. 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 And now that's 99% gets reabsorbed back into the blood. And what happens with this? It goes back to the heart. Perfect. This is renal or glomerular filtration.